Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Parasols, that's all I need to say. Oh yeah. So how do we get them, Mioni? They look absolutely awesome. You might be crying. Well, to get the two, count it, two brand new parasols in patch 5.21, you need to do the Ishgard restoration. One of them is from the script vendor in the firmament of Ishgard, which will cost you 1800 Sky Builder scripts. That gives you the black parasol, or just parasol as the item is described, and the blue and white one is actually from the Coupo of Fortune scratch card system that you get for turning in certain crafted items into the collectible vendor. We actually just did a video on that, so please go and watch that to learn more about it. Both of these parasols then can actually be sold on the market board as well, so if you don't want to do the Ishgard restoration, you could just buy it from another player. Currently though, the prices are a little bit steep, so if you have a ton of gil, then that might also be a good option for you right now. So both of them, once right clicked to learn the item in your inventory, act very much like a mount might. In fact, it uses the exact same technology behind the scenes as mounts in the game, with some rather major changes. Firstly, to access your parasols, you will find them once learnt under the Extras tab in the Actions and Traits window that ordinarily you can bring up with the P key on your keyboard. Both of these parasols are essentially special poses. You can drag these buttons to bars any way you want or just click them, as you would any other emote or mount or anything else in the game. You will note then that you can use parasols outdoors and indoors in most places, including city-state areas like this. There are, however, some other restrictions we should talk about. For example, you cannot use them in raids or dungeons, which should be really quite understandable. Dang, all I really wanted to do was protect you from the rain, Yushtola, but I guess not this patch. And I guess we can't really use them to shield from the rain of salt that comes from pug members as we challenge tough bosses as we do eight player raids either. But at least we can look swag walking around with them in city states and various other zones. The reason I called them essentially glorified mounts earlier is that you get the animation lock, which is pretty much the same as you do with mounts when you have one summoned. You can use facial expression emotes, but pretty much not anything else. You can't slap or salute, bow, sweat, or anything else in the game. Only expressions that change your facial features will actually work. You're also not able to do anything at all in combat. If you enter combat with an umbrella summon, or a parasol as they're called, the mobs will just pound on you repeatedly. It won't actually de-summon. However, you will not be able to press anything at all until you put your umbrella away, either with the same button you actually summoned it with or cancelling the umbrella buff itself on your bars. You can walk around or run with the umbrella, jump as you see here, or sprint as usual. In fact, sprint is one of the only things that actually works. But obviously during all this you're holding the umbrella up in the same position as you go. It's a massive shame really that they didn't put a slow fall buff on it when you jump off cliffs, but that's just my opinion. I guess that would be classed as overpowered, especially if you could use these in PvP rather than just for fun, but still. I can dream of my Mary Poppins moments, okay? Now hopefully we get that in the future. If you attempt to swim, however, as soon as you enter the water, these will both disappear if you have them summoned. Both colours then on offer are great in this patch. I personally like the black a little bit more than the white or blue, or uh, I should just say parasol since the item is just called that, but it's uh, they're both really cool and honestly they're both the same pretty much when it comes down to it in terms of design, apart from the colour changes between them. The intricate detail in the little spokes underneath of the underneath the actual umbrella to the fashioned handle that you actually grip on with your character, and the leather-like fabric used on the umbrella's topper itself is frankly awesome. I'm very happy they added the parasols into the game. They're, you know, something that's very hyped in the community, especially RP communities. And we can make some really cool G-Pose pictures with these, I would imagine. But it does seem a bit of a shame that only expressions will work with an unmodified client, obviously, for holding the umbrella. And there could have maybe been some other unique poses they could have added or something that we could do with them that would have made them more useful. Oh, and the other thing I should mention is you cannot actually sit 
with these out, which is another sad moment for me personally. It would be nice at least to just sort of sit against a wall or lean against a wall with this out or something, but oh well, I guess they could add to it in the future. They are pretty cool. They are extra content that didn't need to be developed or given to us after all, and uh, at least they're not too hard to acquire, so there's that as well, with plans for more to be added in the future, they say, so look forward to that. Personally, I would love them to give us one of these as rewards from content, from raids or something, a Titania-themed one, or any of the primals would be frankly awesome if you think about it. I'm just saying there, that could be an extra thing we could have as a reward or a craftable, that would be pretty nice. Either way, let me know what you think about the, the parasols below, if you've got one yet, and I'll see you all next time. I'm singing in the rain, what a wonderful patch day, I'm happy again.